Prompt engineering is by far one of the most valuable skills to gain in 2024. Those who possess it are capable of creating millions of dollars in value with only a few properly constructed lines. And this is not an exaggeration. In the next 10 minutes of this video, I will not only unpack this incredibly valuable skill, but I will walk you through the process of acquiring it. This guide is designed for anyone looking to improve their prompt engineering skills, regardless of coding experience. But we must start from the most basic thing, which is what is prompt engineering? Prompt engineering is the art of crafting prompts that yield the results you want. It's an essential skill in an AI-powered world, and the good news is that it's not difficult to learn. Don't worry if you're not a tech whiz or a programmer. Prompt engineering is a skill that anyone can learn, so let's get started. Tip number one, understand your AI model. Understanding your AI model is paramount for effective prompt engineering. For example, when working with ChatGPT, framing prompts in a way that encourages elaboration can yield more informative responses. Tip number two, start with clear objectives. Before crafting a prompt, define the specific outcome you desire. Consider the level of detail, tone, and style that aligns with your project's requirements. For example, you can write, write a brief engaging summary of war and peace for high school students. Or you can write, write something about war and peace. The second is too vague, and therefore, the chance of getting the desired response is low. Here's another example to get exactly what I'm trying to say. Clear and specific objectives act as a guiding force, streamlining the AI's creative process and facilitating the production of content that precisely meets your needs. So, the more explicit and purposeful your prompt, the more effective the AI's response will be. Tip 3. Try Role Prompting By adopting roles such as Travel Expert, you grant the model a contextual lens through which it can tailor responses. Imagine the difference between a generic prompt like plan a trip to Japan and a role-specific one like you are a travel expert. Suggest a seven-day itinerary for a family trip to Japan. The second prompt not only refines the focus but also humanizes the interaction, framing the task as a collaborative effort with an expert guide. Now, if that didn't hit well, here's another example. This personalized touch elicits responses crafted with a depth of expertise, enriching the conversational experience. Tip number four, shot prompting. In prompt engineering, understanding the role of shot prompting can help you in so many ways. There are three ways involved in shot prompting. The first one is zero shot prompting. This involves expecting the model to perform a task without any specific examples, relying solely on the prompt. On the other hand, one shot prompting provides a single example to guide the model's understanding. Then we have a few shot prompting. That goes a step further, offering a series of examples to establish a broader understanding. In essence, shot prompting humanizes the interaction, mimicking how we learn through examples and context in our daily conversations. Tip number five, chain of thought prompting. This technique involves crafting prompts that lead the AI through a logical reasoning process. Think of it as providing a sequence of prompts that form a natural chain of thought, guiding the AI toward the desired outcome. Consider the difference between instructing. To calculate the total cost, first determine the price per item, then multiply by the number of items. And a more straightforward prompt like, calculate the total cost. Can you spot the difference? Let's take a look at this practical example. As you can see, the former unveils the step-by-step -step reasoning, while the latter is just vague, leaving the AI without explicit guidance. Tip number six, use precise language. Employing precise language is paramount in crafting effective prompts. It's the difference between a vague prompt and laser-focused instruction, just like the contrast between create a list of gluten-free vegetarian breakfast options under 300 calories and list some good breakfast foods. The first one guides the AI with clarity, helping it understand your expectations precisely. Think of it as providing a roadmap for your virtual assistant. The more detailed, the better. Precision eliminates ambiguity, making your interaction smoother and more productive. So next time you prompt, delve into the specifics for a more tailored and effective response. Tip number seven, the context matters. For this one, imagine your prompt as a conversation starter. A rich, meaningful discussion begins when the context is well-defined. When seeking advice, specificity matters. Picture this, help me plan a trip versus help me plan a budget-friendly solo trip to Tokyo for a week in October. Without context, responses might wander in confusion. Tip number eight, avoid ambiguity. In prompt engineering, steering clear of ambiguity is your guiding star. Now think about the difference between asking, what's the boiling point of water at sea level in Celsius, 
and the vague alternative, how hot does water get? Tip 9. Sequential prompting. Sequential prompting is like guiding someone through a conversation or task step by step. This is a journey where each prompt builds on the previous one, creating a seamless flow. Instead of throwing a broad question like, how do you make a chocolate cake, which might be overwhelming, start with specific steps. First, you could ask the AI to list the ingredients for a chocolate cake, and you follow it up next by asking it to describe the baking process. Tip number 10. Creative use of constraints. Creatively leveraging constraints in prompt engineering can be a powerful technique, guiding the generation process toward more targeted and engaging outputs. By setting specific boundaries, you challenge the system to think more critically and creatively within those limitations. Consider the difference between asking for, write a poem about the ocean, and tasking the model with, write a haiku about a sunset over the ocean. Tip number 11. Testing and iteration. Testing and iteration in simple terms is the process of sculpting a masterpiece. Picture this. You start with a raw block of ideas, crafting version 1 of a prompt like, describe the water cycle in simple terms. The outcome might be decent, but the magic begins when you jump to version 2, adding a dash of complexity with, now include more scientific details. This is better than just saying, describe the water cycle. Tip number 12. Leveraging analogies and metaphors. Analogies serve as bridges between complex concepts and everyday experiences, making information accessible to a broader audience. Explain quantum computing to a 10-year-old using a library metaphor. This comparison simplifies the abstract nature of quantum computing, enabling a 10-year-old or anyone unfamiliar with the topic to grasp the concept more easily. Tip 13. Balance brevity and detail. Let's say you want to request information about the French Revolution. The initial impulse might be a broad prompt, tell me about the French Revolution. However, this lacks balance. On the flip side, asking for a detailed account like, provide a concise overview of the French Revolution, focusing on key events, may demand an extensive response. In prompt engineering, mastering this balance ensures efficient communication, maximizing clarity and engagement. Tip number 14. Incorporate feedback loops. This technique involves using AI's responses to iteratively refine and optimize subsequent prompts. Imagine having a conversation with an AI, where each interaction informs and tailors the next question. For instance, after explaining photosynthesis, you can build on that knowledge by saying, based on your previous explanation of photosynthesis, now clarify what chlorophyll does. This is better than just saying, what does chlorophyll do? This way the flow is broken. Tip 15. Advanced techniques. In advanced prompt engineering, consider crafting prompts that seamlessly weave together multiple techniques to elicit nuanced responses. Instead of a generic comparison between World War I and II, you might pose the question as follows. As a military strategist, dissect the causes of World War I and II, initially delineating each conflict's primary catalysts, and subsequently delve into a comparative analysis of their underlying similarities and distinctions. This approach not only harnesses role prompting but also incorporates sequential prompting and a chain of thought.